Hey guys, it's Ducky. Um, I don't usually watch the news because it makes me sad. Because so many shitty things happen. And I find watching the video footage of these horrible things and people suffering really difficult. So, I don't usually watch the news. But... I happened to turn it on today. Usually I get my news on the internet or um, buy a paper or something. But So anyway, I was watching the news today. I was watching the 9 o'clock news from India. And then I was watching Fox News. We don't get any Canadian news here in London. And yeah, it made me really sad. <laughs> I'm sure you all know about the earthquake in Yogyakarta in Indonesia um, with over 3,000 death toll. <sighs> it's such a shitty thing to happen and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, natural disasters, they just happen and I think it's so sad that you know, we have enough shit to deal with. We have to deal with natural disasters, tsunamis, hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, earthquakes. And then uh, a lot of people in this world just need to add to that and make it worse, which also makes me sad. I was, I was in India, in northern India, during the tsunami in uh, 2004 and even though I was away from the tsunami and, and we weren't we weren't down in the south um, you could just you could see how it affected the country you know and people were so concerned about their families and their friends and you know finding out about death death is it? still can't speak sorry anyway it really touched me because you know I got to see it firsthand well semi firsthand because I was in the country that was affected and so that's kind of stayed with me and so when I hear about these things I just start thinking you know you start thinking about you know, yeah, maybe there's, you know, there's a 3,000 or over 3,000 death toll, lots of other people injured, but how many people does it affect? I mean, those 3,000 people each knew, you know, X amount of people. So these things are this huge worldwide phenomena. And my parents used to live in Indonesia. They used to live in uh, Java. So it's kind of, you start thinking about the connections you have and how really you're, in some way or another, you're connected to everybody in the world. You know, maybe just because you're human or because you know someone that lives there or that you know someone that's been there or you know someone that knows somebody. Six degrees of separation. So yeah, I just wanted to say that I I feel for all those people that have to deal with this and and the hospitals are being overrun and they don't have enough help and they need a lot of a lot of foreign aid and and I hope I hope Canada steps up. Well, I hope all countries step up and and do what they can, but being a Canadian, I, I really hope that we continue our commitment to foreign aid. Although, we have a new Prime Minister, and he's a Conservative. And I don't have too much confidence in him. Stephen Harper. Now, he really likes Bush, though, if that tells you anything. Um, they're, they're becoming friends, pally pally. But I hope that uh, 
Yeah, I hope we step up. I hope. I just wish the world can uh, be a better place. Everybody hold hands. Who cares, you know, who cares if you're from this country or that country, you know, what race you are, what your last name is, your political beliefs. We all match somewhere. We all match somewhere. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Sorry for uh, being all down. I'm not. I just feel for these people. I just, I just feel so bad that, you know, this working class area in, you know, Indonesia gets hit. You know, they they don't need that shit. Nobody needs that shit, but. Especially, they don't need it. 